Did you think it was difficult to insert logos, content, and text in your virtual background? It's not. Let me show you how. Hi, my name is Dirk Jan Uitenboogaard, and I'm a technical solutions architect at Cisco. And today I'll show you how you can do this. So let's go. Right now I'm not using a virtual background, I'm using a blurred background, but I would like to use a virtual background that has the logo embedded in it of one of my customers and I'm using their email address as a parameter. So when I provide this, it'll extract the domain, it will download the logo for that company, it will then embed that logo in the virtual background that I have defined and it will activate that virtual background. Let's look at another example, but now I'm not providing an email address, I'm providing a website. And note that when the updated background is, is available, it will upload it, it will switch to the blurred background and then switch back to the new version of the background. And that is the version with the logo embedded in it. And even in this scenario, it will extract the virtual background, the domain name, and it will download that domain, it will download the logo for that company, embed it, and then send it to the video unit. So note that right now I'm sitting behind a WebEx Desk Pro that has the virtual background capabilities. What I can also do is instead of providing a domain name or email address, I can provide a a URL to an image. As you can see right now, I provided the URL and it puts the image inside the virtual background. And there's one thing that you can see here, and that is the script noticed that the image already existed. So it will check if the image exists in your local cache folder, and if it is, it doesn't have to re-download it, and it will just use that file instead. And sometimes you just don't need a logo. So you run the clear command and that will remove the logo and activate the background. So what if you cannot really use a logo, but you just want a specific message, text. So in that case, you can run the script with the command text and the text that has to be placed right there. And as you can see, the text customer is now placed in my virtual, yes, it's in my virtual background. So what about the text color? It's now set to yellow, but in the little config file, you can change that to anything you would like. So what about more text? So when I run the text parameter with, a, with more text, basically long customer name, you can see it changes, it changes the font size so it fits within the area that I have configured. So what did I configure? Let me show you. Um, in the config in the config file, there is two parameters: logo start and logo end, and those define the coordinates of the start and end point where a logo. And it defines an area, the area where a logo can be placed in. So logos will fit, will be resized into that area, just like the text. So what if I have a long customer name, but I want, I still want it to be bigger? I can use multi-line text, and in this case, as you can see, I provide multi-line text where every line is separated with a double hashtag. Another thing that I could do is not insert logos into an existing uh, virtual background. I can just change an existing virtual background. And in this case, I changed the virtual background of slot user one 
Note there is three user slots, user one, two, and three. But in this case, I'm changing slot user one to this particular URL. And as I have used this URL before, you can see that it says local file exists, and it will use that file. So instead of inserting a logo, this just changes the virtual background in one of the user slots. If I remove this URL from this command, there will just be one parameter, and that is user1. If you do that, it changes to that particular um, virtual background preset. So if I want to change to the previous virtual background, I would run this command with user3, just like this. As you can see, the virtual background instantly changed, and I have my multi-line customer text back. That I can also clear, so we are back to where we were. You can use this for customer logos to appear, for text messages to appear in your background, but also to add um, event information, event banner. I could have an event banner at the top of the screen, at the side of the screen. I could insert all kinds of information um, in my virtual background. 